All right, welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming, where today we have a long ways to go to deliver this forgotten prototype. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a couple of different options we can do. We can either drive back, cut down here, drive along the uh, ice and water, and then jump back up onto this road. Or we can uh, kind of just follow this road up and around. And then go around. That probably is the longer route. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of split the two. And we're going to follow this road until we get down to here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and mark this out just because it makes it a little bit simpler. And then we're going to come out here, drive around, hopefully jump up there. Uh, you know what? I know we can come this way, so we'll, we'll, we'll go there and then we'll head back and boom. So that's kind of the plan. It's a little bit of both trails. I mean, to tell you the truth, there's another six different ways you can go, but they all probably will be longer. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to start in morning. And uh, yeah, we got to change trucks real quick because we're going to be using a road train. And I just lost my train of thought, unfortunately. Oh, well, that happens. Uh, for me, I'm uh, it's actually about three o'clock in the morning right now. <laughs> I uh, couldn't sleep actually for the last couple days. Couldn't really, can't really sleep more than I don't know four hours at a time. Uh, so I said, "Screw it, let's uh, go play some Snow Runner. Maybe this will help uh, reset my memory or my brain, and uh, I can actually get some uh, sleep after I get." one of these episodes filmed so we're gonna try it tonight see what happens um i don't have too much going on tomorrow uh but i'm sure i'll probably have a full day and a full schedule so uh but last night was uh pretty much the same i think i was up from like one o'clock in the morning till four or five just trying to you know fall back asleep in bed which kind of makes it worse uh so yeah, anyways, we're going to try this. We're going to play some video games while I am, uh, instead of just laying in bed doing nothing and uh, see what happens. So <laughs> hopefully if I'm, if I sound off or if I sound tired in the video, it's, uh, well, it's because it's three in the morning and it's, uh, yeah, we are, uh, we're pretty much stuck. All right, let's uh, do some winching. This isn't. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad of, an, of a problem to get out of here. So, there. as long as we've got enough trees, we can get this back on dry land. Let's uh, not forget our vehicles. Yes, we gotta we gotta yank this through its own path. So that's uh, well, you know what? It's fine. All right, let's get uh, the truck higher up. There we go. Now we should be. Now we should be good to go. Or not. <laughs> We're not moving at all. Okay, up the hill we go. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. 
Was I attached to the truck or was I attached to something else? No, I, f I feel like we were uh, attached to the con. Really, that one piece of ice doesn't want to break. Try breaking it ourselves. Uh, that's not gonna slide back. All right. Well, let's. Uh, all right. Let's try it. Let's try a different option. Let's get the uh, the Ford on dry land. We're going to change to the con. We're going to pull. There we go. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the con that's stuck. I think it's the trailer. Come on. Come on. I feel like it wants to go. There he goes. There we go. Oh, come on. Let's go inside so that I can attach the actual truck. Nope, that was on. All right, let's switch back. That's the one thing I wish uh, was an option for when you uh, say you're attached to two vehicles. Where is my line? Uh, uh, when you're attached to two vehicles. I there it is. Anyways. Uh, when you're attached to vehicles, I, I wish the, the winch line would stay connected. And you would be able to not have to basically go through the uh, point of re-attaching it again. Just because, you know, um, and, and, and I have a feeling the way that it should be done is, you know, you, you attach, say, the con line to the Ford. And then you switch to the Ford. It becomes the tow line to the Ford, um, so that you can't, you know, have the con attached. Although in in reality and in, in real life, you would be able to use the winch line from the con, attach that to the Ford, and then still have the Fords to be able to pull. Uh, I think they did that for difficulty, uh, just making things. A little bit more difficult because it probably would be probably would be a little bit easier uh in fact i know it would be easier it would be less you know dealing around with uh having to select your winch lines and connections and things like that but yeah i don't know it's uh it's a thought it's obviously probably not going to happen because this game's been out for what five years now <laughs> yeah um, I, I have a feeling they did it because of, you know, made it too easy. <clears throat> that ends, you know, how do you, how do you start controlling said lines? Oh, you know what? There was one setting that I wanted to check. And I think I've seen it before and I just never really used it. And... Let me grab my, my 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 mouse real quick. I don't know where it is. Um, I feel like it would be under. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's turn on HUD, the immersive mode. I think what it's going to do. What I'm assuming 
yeah, so it hides everything. So let me know if you guys like this immersive mode better. I've, I've remember seeing it probably when I first started playing this series and uh, going through all the different settings and seeing what was a, what's going on and I just never really used it. Um, I'm kind of one of those people who I don't know. I don't. I don't mind the HUD. I mean, there's there's a reason for it. And yes, that's not how. Why is it showing? Never mind. I fell to the trap of yeah the the question or the spyglass warning or uh, whatever that's called the little diamond with the spyglass in it um, road sign. Yeah, I was thinking that's where we had to drop it off, but no, that's just showing where the scout trailer is because we're not actually attached to it. Anyways, um, yeah, so um, you know what? I'm so far, yeah, because everything pops up when you want it to. I kind of like this mode. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Usually I don't, uh, I usually don't use an immersive mode if there is one or try to hide the HUD. Uh, unless I'm doing a screenshot. <laughs> it's pretty much the only time I want to hide the HUD. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of... kind of like it. It gives it a nice clean look. Let me know in the comments if you guys liked it. Uh, I gotta get closer to this so that it disappears. Come on. Thank you. I believe we should be safe being out in the middle of the ice. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I do forget to... Uh, I guess you gotta go, yeah, you gotta go up to see if your all-wheel drive's on. Uh, it would be nice if it showed up there, just to make sure, because that... I mean, you have to... Well, I guess it works there when you actually go to turn it on and off. Anyways, okay, I gotta learn how to use it <laughs> before I make uh, judgments, I guess. But uh, yeah, I just would expect to see it when you brought, you know, when you held your. Uh, in my case, it's the L1 button. You would expect to kind of see it there because you have to hit L1 and then, you know, triangle or, or square, depending on if you're doing uh, all wheel drive or differential. But yeah, anyways. Uh, we are getting there. It's a slow but uh, smooth process so far. <clears throat> we had a little bit of uh, trouble in the beginning, but uh, yeah, luckily, going the way of the ice uh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the chains on, so of course. <clears throat> uh, this lo actually looks like a good spot to come up. Maybe this is the spot where I where I cut across. I think it might be. I'm I'm surprised they don't have a guardrail here to keep you from getting on and off the ice so easily. We are gonna fight with that guardrail there, but we should be able to easily make that turn and we did so that's that's a plus <clears throat> it's funny because it's uh it's so early in the morning or late in the morning depending on how you want to say it uh that the dog didn't even bother to get up she's still upstairs sleeping so <laughs> normally she follows me around no matter where i go but apparently tonight she, uh, yeah, she had no interest to, to actually get up. <clears throat> I think I might, uh, I think I might start doing this more often. Because I don't know how many times. I've, I've never been a great sleeper. I can, I can fall asleep anywhere. I can take naps during the day like it's my job. <laughs> I actually enjoy taking a nap unless I go... Let's say sleep like an hour or two hours. There's there's been times where I've taken a two hour nap and you just wake up feeling 
groggy and, and you just feel like crap. Um, but then there's times where you take like a good, you know, 30 minute nap and it's, you wake up refreshed and feeling great and whatnot. But I, yesterday I definitely did not have a nap. Um, I actually was working on Edmo uh, quite a bit yesterday and then uh, start basically building a roof for a shed and uh, yeah definitely didn't have any time to nap. In fact driving home I was so tired I was like debating about pulling over. I think it was 6.30 at night and <laughs> taking a small nap. <laughs> but uh, yeah luckily I didn't. Oh cool. Wow. I, you know what? Let's, uh, we don't need this trailer. They didn't take it away from us, so let's, uh, let's go to the port. Is that where the trailer store is? Yeah, the port, the docks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll go drop off the, the trailer. Uh, you know, the only thing I don't like about this immersive. Uh, so far is the fact that I can't see the fuel. I have no clue where the fuel is so ideally if it would have popped up when you did that just a quick little glance to see is that the road? No. <laughs> I, I, I never come to this part of the map anyways um yeah it would be nice if the the gas would pop up when you uh kind of brought up your, your gear shifter. I wonder if there is a... I wonder if it will show up once it get, becomes red. Because um, I mean ultimately you really don't have to worry about it until it's in the red. But if you know you have a half a tank and you know how far you gotta go, you kinda, you kinda know that you're gonna have to come up with something where if it's not really showing up until you bring up your this menu your context menu um, you're not really gonna be able to plan for that so but uh, you know what we'll see we'll see how it goes in the Ford I'm not too worried because we've got I don't know three or four different uh, fuel areas or, or capacities or, or options yeah I think options is the correct word there <laughs> Uh, I mentioned it was early in the morning, right? My, my brain isn't quite thinking correctly. Uh, but yeah, we can actually get rid of that. We can drop this off. We can stop this engine. I kind of want to take it to the red. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. The con. Uh, I kind of want to take it to the red to see if the fuel will actually... Install add-ons or trailer block attachment. Oh, never mind. Like I said, it's early in the morning. Um, all right. Uh, sweet. That that task was done. It's weird that it didn't get rid of the trailer for us, but I guess in one aspect, that's that shouldn't be too bad. Um, are we on to logging? I think we are on the logging guys. Is there any other? Let's see, we got to pick what? Pick up from East Camp container from South Camp. OK, so we got to go pick up. Ooh, we got to go pick up a big old container, huh? I didn't even, I didn't even notice that when we were over there. Off-road truck is recommended. No kidding. And we've got this one here. I never realized that those containers were actually uh, playable. We do still have those three tasks there, which I uh, which I have, can't believe I haven't uh, gotten yet. But I kind of want to. Uh, I kind of want to play with Caleb. Pull it. Pull it. I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce it. Uh, we may have to return this. Um, actually, let me 
Oh, those are medium logs. This one here, nope. Visit the bunkers. Okay, so... There's still a lot to do. I don't know why... I thought that meant... Okay, never mind. No, that... Yeah, I totally thought that was... Abandoned bunkers visited. I totally thought the uh, little globe there meant that the... Uh, task was on multiple maps. Yeah, see that usually is what that means, right? Am I wrong? Is it just early in the morning and I have no clue what the hell I'm talking about? All right, uh, let's let's think about this one. We have a vehicle that is floating out there that would be perfect. We should have enough gas. Uh, we don't have any reserves. Alright, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I really wanted to try the collab. But unfortunately... That's not gonna happen, so... That might have to wait for the next. Uh, but I definitely will be using it uh, the next time we need a, a V-Truck just because we have not uh we haven't really used it uh for that purpose so uh a lot of people are saying that there's probably their favorite truck in the game so yeah i want to uh i want to give it a shot because i'm completely open-minded to <laughs> using different vehicles i want to i want to use different vehicles i want to get the full experience of this game so um Hopefully. Oh wow, why are you not turning? There we go. That was strange. This uh this vehicle did not want to turn at all there for some reason. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that we are Ah, oh, there I go again, my brain. I had, a, I, I had a thought, I was going to say it, and then I totally blanked on it, so I do apologize. I'm, like I said, it's early in the morning, my brain's not working. Um, it possibly could be late at night. <sighs> and yeah. Oh, let's zoom out, let's uh... Let's see, where are we going to be? Yeah, we've got 35 gallons of fuel. Let's just keep going. If this runs out of fuel, then it runs out of fuel and we'll have to find a different vehicle or recover it. And then come at it from a different angle, but... You know what? It's out here. It's close by. We can, uh definitely get some use out of it before we just send it back to the uh, to the garage and get it refilled. Uh, this is a tight little fit. Alright, so where does this want me to go? It wants me to go there. Yeah, I guess I'll just follow the road around. Maybe we'll go, we'll cut through here. This probably will be longer than taking the actual road. My shortcuts never really pan out too great, so. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see the next iteration of this game. Um. I've been kind of checking out some of the videos of Roadcraft and 
It honestly sounds like it's a completely different game. At least that's what the developers want. It's like... You do know we want a sequel to SnowRunner. Um, with next gen, or... I don't, I don't really want to call it that. It's not really next gen when it comes to computers. Um, but with uh, the next engine is probably more accurate to say. Because um, I kind of want to see what... Uh, if, if I'm, I'm assuming they're still going to use the Havoc engine. Um, or maybe Havoc engine 2.0 or whatever. Whatever version it happens to be on. Um, I guess I'm going to go this way. I'm going to try to get onto the the crappy half-frozen ice. I'm sure we'll... Well, no, we shouldn't really break through too bad. There will be spots. Like, that doesn't even look like it would be ice. That's just snow. Ooh, crap. I thought I could drive on this without falling in. Okay, we'll, we'll just get to the other side. Yeah. We'll be like the chicken. Just have to cross the road and get to the other side. Um, did I want to get to the other? Yeah, I suppose I did want to get to the side. It looks like it might be a little bit rougher on this side. But as long as we have things to winch onto, we should be fine. See, this is where I wish I had the ability to see what my gas gauge is while I'm on the move. Because I literally have to just do a quick on and off. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think if you uh, prefer this mode. I'll try it out more. See if I grow to like it. You know, unfortunately, it's just it's different. So, and uh, well, people don't usually like change. So. We'll, uh, we'll kind of see how it goes from here. All right, I think we'll make it there. I think we'll make it there without too much hassle. As long as I don't get stuck going through some weird shortcut. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to go straight for it. We'll, we'll go up this way. If I can see the rocks, then I can. I know that the snow isn't super deep. straight head for it. Oh no, it's behind it? Aw oh, crap, it is behind it. It's my fault. Let's uh try to go around it because we're definitely not going over this bunker. And look, it looks like it's been shell shocked. A couple times. Although some of those rebar doesn't make sense. If you know anything about structural engineering and rebar and stuff like that. Some of that doesn't make sense. If you know, you know. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Not that big of a deal. It's a video game. It's not like it's the bridge that you take to go to work. I don't know. I just, I just made that up. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Uh, so this should be part two or that bunker, whatever the bunker's name is. ZB1015. I don't remember or recall what the other bunker's name were. All right, you know what? That's pretty close. So let's, uh, how much fuel do we have? 18. I kind of want to run it until it runs out. I really want to know if when that fuel turns red, or if we get low on fuel, does it show up? That's, that's, that's my question. And it honestly shouldn't take too long to run this thing dry. 
I probably could transfer some back to the fuel tanks. But that also seems like it's a uh, problem. Right, 16. I guess I'll... I mean, it doesn't really matter where I go. Try not to go into the water too much. Meanwhile, I'm going right down the middle of the river. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we get stuck either, because we'll just burn fuel until it becomes low. I think this is the only time where I've never actually tried to get somewhere. Come on, fuel. I think it's got to get below 10. And we're burning something like five gallons a minute, so this uh, this vehicle is very th thirsty. I almost said hungry. Oh man, that uh, that's fun. All right, we might actually make it. I'm gonna I'm gonna head that way. You know what? You never know. We might actually make it over there. This thing doesn't really slow down too much unless it's in deep snow or in that ice and the giant mud puddle. Perfect. But even that was pretty, uh, pretty quick to get through. I don't know why I keep zooming in. Well, I do know why I keep zooming in because I push forward on my uh, stick. Maybe I can just that. I don't think I'll ever want... I don't really have a reason to ever be zoomed in. I guess sometimes you do. I take that back. I lied. Yeah, sometimes you do want to zoom in. Ooh, we're slowing down. Are we... Okay, yeah, we are in the red and it doesn't show up, so... Okay, so that might be a down... Thumbs down for uh, immersive mode. Because, um, you know, normally you get a uh, warning light. But we are literally almost there, so. I don't know if we can cross there. Um, I don't think we have a choice right now because we can't. Come on, don't fall in too bad. All right, perfect. Uh, oh wow, this this cliff is. Let me stop it. Um, yeah, they uh, they made that cliff almost impenetrable. But they never had this vehicle. Is it me or can I fit through here? I kind of want to go up and over the, the, the face. Yeah, I'm definitely not fitting through there. Can I just go up and over these? No, there's no winch point. Nope, okay. I don't want to waste too much gas trying to go up and over. Let's try to go up and over the rock face. I can't believe I got here and I met with an impenetrable wall, but I guess technically that would make sense because it is a military base. <laughs> and if you're trying to protect against invasions, this is how you would do it. Alright, let's see if we can get up here. Like I said, they never... Oh, I don't have any winch points. I go stupid slow. I'm gonna roll off real quick and get pointing in that direction. Come on, let's go low. We need a little bit more speed. Oh, 
Every time, every time you go to lower gear and it should be, you should almost, you should be going up the hill, not sliding back down it. Uh oh, you know what? I think, yeah, we are out of gas. Oh, we were so close. Um, all right, let's recover. We'll just straight up these, leave the garage from here. We'll even skip the morning. Which unfortunately looks more like night. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should be going to the afternoon. Who knows? Anyways, this should be, uh, this should be a pretty simple path to get to where we're going. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll just head off this way. We gotta get to uh Bunker Island. And I think yeah, this will be quick quick jaunt across the uh the ice and we'll be to a road and we'll be there in uh probably about two minutes. Oh, it's like we, it's like we know what we're doing. It's amazing. And we're just gonna, we're gonna slowly gun it. I don't know, can you slowly gun things? I guess you can. <laughs> Um, this doesn't look great. Yeah, here I am with no, uh, chains. But somehow, somehow we made it up that road. <laughs> I mean, my gut told me to stick to the side where it was rocky. And, um, I'm glad I did. Awesome. Look at that. We're, we're, we're pretty good. Oh, uh, that was, that was a bit of bad driving on my part, but I guess let's just go straight for it. They, they put it in the middle, so I don't think we really have a good, I guess there was a road on that side, of course, but all right, like my, uh, like the famous saying, where we're going and we don't need roads. That would be a pretty good time to, uh, insert that saying from the movie, uh, Back to the Future, because, yeah, I don't know. I've been debating about doing a little bit more editing to my videos. Um, I figured I'll probably start doing that once. Once, if, I should say if, because I mean really it comes down to if, if I become more popular and I start getting, you know, paid for this, um, I, I, I say paid because I, I laugh. I'm, I'm sure it's like pennies that you get, um, I, I, you know, it all depends on how big the channel blows up, right? So, uh, maybe one day I'll be, uh, putting a little bit more editing time into it, but Seeing on how this right now is just a uh, thing I do for fun. Um, I don't really spend a whole lot of time editing. Um, I mean, it still takes a while to edit these videos, but I, I could definitely spend a lot more time editing. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyways. And then maybe one day I can actually pay somebody else to edit my videos. Like... Uh, I don't know, Mr. Beast does, or, or any of the bigger YouTubes. First, YouTubers. Um, where are we? We've got, uh, wow, we still got 20 minutes left in this episode. Um, that's my, that's my goal. I think I'm going to stick it around an hour. Um, 
But you know, some might be shorter, some might be longer. It's all just kind of what, uh, what decides to happen. Oh, we can't, you know what? Let's do this mission. Cause that's logging, that's locked, that's locked. Wing, oh wow. Okay, we are definitely gonna be doing some heavy moving. Cool. And these are, oh, these are the marks again. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll do that one eventually. We'll, we'll get to doing those. Those would be, I wish I would have known. How come somebody didn't tell me when I got here to be like, Hey, do the contracts of Koloski administration because you pretty much drive all over the map anyways. Like, look at this. This is probably the, oh. Ooh, Megalith, that sounds like fun. I kinda wanna go visit it now. Anyways, uh, that's fine. I, I, I'm good. Uh, yeah, let's do this cabin fever. So let's, uh, let's just recover this. I don't, we're not far from home. Um, oh yeah, it's out in, it's out in the wild. Can we... I don't know if we can throw a crane on this. Uh, we might have to bring a crane with us. So let's recover this. Uh, we'll warm it up and get the, uh, the ice off of it. Customize. I think you just have, yeah, you literally have nothing else. All right, so. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, have an escort vehicle. Uh, truck store, not truck store, truck storage. What rescue vehicle do we want? Uh, escort, escort, escort. This you can't have a crane for, although I haven't used this truck in a while. It'd be kind of fun to use it again. The bandit has one. I mean, should we put a big heavy duty crane on it? Extreme heights. Yeah, you know what? We haven't used this. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do that. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to be smart. Yeah, I'm using my brain now, even though it's what now for almost four in the morning. <laughs> I'm throwing chain tires on this thing because if we come to a point where we need to basically swap the two vehicles, we uh, we can use this vehicle to pull the other vehicle up uh, an icy road. So yeah, look at me go. It's, it's like I know what I'm doing. All right, we're obviously not going to be able to finish this episode, but we can get we can get it started. We can. Uh... Is there anything I want to do? Do I want to change anything? No, no, snorkel, it's stock and it's up there, so that's fine. Little to no increase in submersion depth. Yep, that's why we're, that's why we're going to leave it. Um, yeah, no, we're good. Let's, let's go ahead and leave. All right. And we do have to go pick up. We are long. <laughs> we we still gotta go pick, pick up a flatbed. Um, and there's really no sugarcoating this. I'm probably bringing vehicles that are too big for this task. Um, I could probably get away with like an Azov with a. Uh, with a flatbed and a crane. I could 
I could literally pick up both in one go. I could pick that up. Yeah, because they, they both have to... Yeah. Well, you know what? No, I mean, technically I could pick that one up, drop it off, and come over here, pick that one up, and drop it off. And that fact, this is all icy, so we're going to have to... We're going to need those chains. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get going. There's my, my bird chirping. <laughs> uh, if you're, if you've been reading the comments, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, kind of embarrassing, but at the same time, it's kind of funny, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, drop that off there. We're going to go get a flatbed. I'm going to try to pick the, the smallest flatbed. I know that sounds kind of silly, but uh, yeah, we're going to try to pick the smallest flatbed that we can get. Oh, 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 whoa, ew, that hurt. Um, when I say smallest flatbed, that's what I was afraid of. I mean, I could just yank that behind us. Ah, I, I'm totally, uh, I'm totally overdoing it here. Is there a repair? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a repair through here. Excuse me. Yeah, like there's kind of the, the size comparison the uh the dairy there is pretty still pretty good truck <clears throat> there is not a repair point uh how bad are we oh uh yeah you know what we should be fine we should be fine famous last words right <clears throat> Ooh, slow turning radius. <laughs> There's a million dollar question. Does it take him a half an hour to turn the wheel? Yeah, it does. I feel like he could turn that wheel faster. Anyway. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. It's weird that the, uh, when you do this, your drive lines don't show up. Of course. Why would, why wouldn't I have pulled it up more? Alright, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go. And yes, I, I realized that it dawned on me. I probably could just bring the truck and tr crane and all the uh, the trailer behind that. Well, I'm not 100% sure what the overhang on that is. But I really want to use this truck. <laughs> and again, I'm not really using it for what I want to use it for, if you know what I mean. Like, I wanted to use it with a long semi-flatbed trailer and really, really push it to its limits, but, um, you know what? I'm sure eventually we will get there. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember a logging trailer. There might have been a medium logging trailer, but um, there was definitely no long log for this guy, so we're not even going to be able to use this truck for logging. Uh, 
but it looked like when I was flipping through the uh, the missions that there was large trailers that we're gonna have to haul. So that's that's really where this this truck is going to shine. Um, and now that we're out on the ice, I'm going to I'm gonna double check something. Ooh, we are moving slow. How do I... Oh, I guess I just... Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for the menu context. Um, let me detach this. It, it's funny. I, I told, totally forgot how to play the game. Um, let's not go too far. It looks like we should be able to hook up to it. And you know what? This truck is fairly narrow. Fairly. Oh. See? Um dash. yeah. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna leave that behind and we are going to drive up to there and pick up that trailer. All right, so let's back up because I'm now going the wrong direction. All right, bye, Caleb. I'm just gonna call you Caleb. I don't, I don't, it's fine. <laughs> it's my nickname for the truck, okay? It's not how I pronounce it, it's an actual name. It reminds me of a Caleb I went to school with. I'm kidding. I don't think I went to school with a Caleb. Yeah, that, that, that might be 100% true. If I did, I didn't know the kid, so anyways. Um, <clears throat> oh man, I, it's funny because I'm, I'm actually getting to the point now where I'm hungry. <laughs> uh... This is ridiculous. The worst part is, is I'm not really tired yet. So I'm like, I'm looking at the time and I'm like, do I want to do another, another episode? Do two in one sitting and, uh, and kind of basically get half the week finished or I guess two thirds of the week finished all in one sitting. And I don't know the answer is going to be no. <laughs> I'm probably going to try to go to sleep after this, so hopefully I do. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's hard when your brain doesn't want to sleep, right? Like, they say a lot of rich people don't sleep. People who make a lot of money never sleep. Like the sharks on Shark Tank, what was his name, Mark Cuban or something like that. Sleeps like three hours a night or something stupid like that. It's like, yeah, just because I don't sleep doesn't mean that I'm doesn't mean that I'm rich. <laughs> uh, it just means I'm tired in the morning. Um, and it's funny too because actually a lot of people have been saying it lately where they'll like, they'll be like, oh, what are you so tired for? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I actually slept last night. Like, I'm not tired, but my, like, my bags under my eyes get really heavy and dark and yeah. Anyways, uh, you know what? I think these uh, these trailers were these here always here, or did they just pop up because of the task? Because I do not remember two of them being out here. I assume that one there was the uh, the one that I was picking up. But um, anyways, let's go into crane mode. Let's uh, use a crane that is probably overly. Ooh, you know what? Um, let's put our anchors out. There we go. Jeez, it's like I forgot how to, um... Why won't it go into anchor mode? Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, it almost looks like you could slide these. Can you just slide these? No. Okay, good. How cool would that have been, though? If there was just an anchor point and you could just pull them? <laughs> Instead of, uh, having to get an actual trailer like you, well, do for every other container. Anyways, let's go back into crane mode. Let's, let's get this figured out. And, uh, you know what? This will actually be, this would be... The crane. Crap, I totally forgot how do I how do I get it? Stop spinning. There we go. Alright, that should oh 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 no, let's bring it up a little bit. Is this gonna fit? Alright, you know what? We might just have to bring it back this way. Oh, I almost got it in there. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, restore crane. Wait, are you kidding me? It's not going to actually fit on this trailer? No. Go back into crane mode. Let's try to get it in the trailer more. I don't... Normally you don't have to get it that good into a trailer. Are you kidding me? They're saying it's not going to fit. Remove cargo. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's gotta be, uh... It's gotta have a, uh... It's gotta be strapped down before you can turn it in all right let's restore the crane that's not fun I totally assumed that um, it was that thing I was picking up and I'm pretty sure that thing fits in this trailer uh, I do apologize if you were yelling at me when I picked up this trailer and decided to use it uh, if you're yelling at me through the time space continuum and uh, I just didn't hear you. Um, so, yes. Well, I guess what I do is we drive back. We'll drive back to the trailer store. In fact, where's is there a trailer store somewhere closer? No, abandoned convoy. So many tasks I still haven't done yet. Um, yeah, there's, there's, no, we, we've got to go back. Uh, oh, there is a trailer store there. I could risk it. You know what? Screw it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. See if we can't get a bigger trailer. We should be able to get the longer one that, that patches just like this one does oh crap I didn't even look um, I totally forgot to look for breakable ice please stay in the trailer please stay in the trailer thank you all right cool uh, pay attention <laughs> I've got uh, a little bit of work ahead of me we do have chains on so that's good we won't shouldn't lose control on the ice Uh, but we probably will fall through, so... 
think uh yeah i think we're pretty safe there's our trailer with no wheels until they spawn in kind of strange how it does that but it's it is what it is can we do a flyby refuel i didn't even show up i was too far away wasn't i yeah okay we are good to go there Yeah, I, I, I would have to say, if I had to complain, which I will, um, <laughs> I wish the fuel would show up. It, it's it's kind of inconvenient to have to bring up your, your little side menu to, um, to see it because you, you lose your forward momentum, right? You can't check it on the fly, where if it was this button that would show up. You could check it on the fly, so... Uh, yeah, it's one of those things. But uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you got, if you uh, prefer this view when you're watching, or if you really don't care. <clears throat> and yeah. Let me know, because your feedback, uh, your feedback really does help a lot, so... Um, I think I can... This goes around, doesn't it? Yeah, we can we can drive on this for a little bit longer. Yeah, I, th I think it would have been really cool if they uh, put anchor points on this type of trailer, and you could uh, you could just drag it behind you. Because <laughs> uh, I mean, it has the built-on the built-on built-in built-on sleds. Uh, those rails there you could basically pull it around in real life so you know why pick it up if you could just pull it behind you like a sled it makes sense to me <clears throat> all right i am gonna i am gonna go a bit longer i want to uh i want to at least see if we can trade in the uh, container once we get there or if it does have to be strapped in. I'm 99% sure it does have to be strapped in so um, I don't have the best memory <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I've had these issues where I've, I've tried to you know just leave it attached to the crane and then drop it off and that doesn't doesn't work so Although, you know what guys, this, this truck's doing pretty well too. <laughs> um, I'm kind of impressed with this, uh, with some of these older trucks. I haven't really tried some of the, you know, old, old trucks, the, the beginning trucks. Uh, but yeah, is it just going to take it? Yeah, I was, I was afraid of that. Darn it. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, let's detach the trailer. We'll drop this off here. Let's, uh... Oh. There's a small tree in the way. But yeah, let's drive over to the, the trailer store and pick up a trailer. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, um... I'm actually going to back in so that it's easier to turn around. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm using my noggin. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, that one there. What, what do you mean? Why? this trailer next oh okay for some reason you can't go back there perfect not gonna lie a little nervous about that uh no 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 do not get stuck on we are not getting stuck on stumps this close to the end of the episode i will not allow it i 
We're gonna go up and around. Even that one. Okay, so if I go into crane mode, first of all, activate our anchors. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> as long as I can still pick up the container. Oh, this one will. This this crane actually lets me pick up. Normally, you can't pick up trailers with cranes. So yeah, let's just uh, have some fun with this, even though the uh, the trailer isn't having too much fun. Oh, look at that, I stuck the landing. Hopefully they don't mind that it's dirty. Okay. bit rotate it and yes I'm you know what let's let's actually lower it down onto the platform let's uh back trucks and trailer what um let's activate no restore crane Did it pack? Is there a certain type of trailer I need to drop this off? All right, hold on one second. Uh, if I go into settings, turn off immersive mode. Immersive mode. Everything else is on. Okay, yeah, it's not letting me put it on this trailer. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't know why this isn't letting me pack these trailers. Maybe, maybe I did need Caleb. Caleb needs to come to my rescue. Um, I'm going to detach this trailer here. We're going to have a lot of cleanup to do. <laughs> yeah, see, there's, there's that log trailer, but not a long log trailer. These are all fifth wheel boost Where's the blue? Wasn't there a blue one like this that I could pull? Nope. Alright, you know what? Um, I believe it's going to be Caleb to the rescue. We're going to, we're going to get a flatbed. Let me see if I can return this trailer. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure this out later. I, I'm creating quite a mess here. Uh, but that's that's okay. You know what? It's fine. Let's uh, stop the engine. Let's grab Caleb. And let's make our marker so that I remember. And yeah, I think we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to get the big trailers, aren't we? Is there something in, uh, do, 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 do. there it is. Jeez. Cabin fever. 
tours. We are moving some of the supplies. There are satellite cams. Blah, 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 blah. Off-road truck is recommended. That's all it says. Okay. Um, we will try to try a bigger trailer and see if that's the case. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's end this episode here on, um, a, a little bit of a disappointing note, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.